Well, here we are at the number one Callus video from 2018. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, it's been a wonderful year and we've had a lot of really fun videos with great patients that I've been lucky enough to share with you. This particular video uh, is a very nice lady who has had bunions for a very long time and has developed some very big calluses on the bottom of the bunion bump where she puts a lot of pressure every time she walks. As you will hear her say in the video, she's also recently gotten a brand new hip and that may alter her gait enough so that one or both of these calluses is reduced. People have asked why I choose the flat chisel blade that you see me use in this video versus the smaller uh, number 15 scalpel blade and really it, it's kind of whatever I'm feeling on that particular day with that particular patient. I can do large calluses with the small blade and I can do small calluses with the large blade but generally the large flat blade is a lot better for very big or very thick calluses. It can get at them a little more efficiently. So enjoy the video. Thank you for coming on this ride with us for the last two years. And I appreciate everybody's views of the videos and everybody's subscribing. Again, thank you and uh, enjoy the video. I see that I wonder how I can even walk. Yeah, that's a pretty good callus there. It's so dry too. It's kind of like tree bark. That's the term we use when people have psoriasis and they get these really, really thick scaly kind of calluses. Just don't give me anything more that'll be sore if you possibly can. No, I'll go easy here. But actually we'll clip some of this off here. Now, last time we met in the summer, you had been talking about taking a trip to New England. Did you ever get there? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you been on any mm -hmm. trips? I suppose you have. Since I saw you? Yeah. Not really. Mm -hmm. I always check to see if there's new photos up there. <laughs> trip to me when I see your photos. And you think then I was jumping off of bolts and out of bolts and <laughs> climbing rocks and so maybe you can go do it again. Yes, you bet. Yeah, part of my job is to help you keep perspective. It's been less than a month since you got a whole new hip, so go easy on yourself that you're still using the cane. It's nice to hear that. You have to be reminded of that yep. as you're hobbling around the house. This, 
Yesterday was the first day I walked a little bit around the house without my cane. But like Dr. <coughs> Heller said to me at the checkup, he says, I have people coming in here and he demonstrated with this big limp across his office and he, he says, use your cane. He says, use it until you, and even if you don't need it, it doesn't hurt to use it until you get used to it. Right, and the other thing is that this callus, you may find that now that that hip doesn't hurt, that you're going to walk differently and this is going to not get so bad. I mean, it might, it might not change, but there's a possibility that as you're walking more normally, this callus won't be quite so bad. Yeah, you know what my problem is? When you, when you take the cane away, it's my knee to my foot mm -hmm. that wants to give out. It seems to be weak. Mm -hmm. The right. muscle seems to be weak in there. Well, you've been walking funny for so long. Yeah. Because of the hip. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm having my major problem right now. I'm afraid if I take my cane away, I'll fall down. <laughs> so for right now, use the cane. Okay. So this, uh, I think we took off about a pound or two here. Uh, wow. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know about that. All right, so let's do the other foot and then. So you've got your birthday right on Thanksgiving yeah, this year. Yeah, it's been a while. Do they do something special for you at your I hope with so. your family? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. My sister is having Thanksgiving, and what's the one she, thing they always ask you to make to bring? Pardon? What's the one thing you make that everybody loves that they always ask you to bring? Oh heavens, I don't. Whip the whipping cream for the pie. Nobody in our family knows how to whip whipping cream. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I usually go over and help her with the cooking. She's three years older than I am, so she says, get well, get well. It's coming fast. Well, isn't it time to pass it down to the next generation, you think? The, yeah, we've been talking about that for a long time. And <laughs> Nobody they wants don't to seem get to that. get the message. <laughs> oh, funny. Instead, I hear her son saying, Mom, are you having Thanksgiving? And she says, I suppose. I think she kind of likes it. But she farms out a lot of the stuff. Which is perfect. She should. Uh -huh. All right. So, this will feel a whole lot better.